Hello everyone, welcome to another G R W G. Get ready with get. Today we're gonna do a mukbang special. I'm doing pancit canton with a samyang sauce with a bit of egg and some seik and some seaweed. Actually, this is not the normal seaweed. It's a candied seaweed. So today, I'm going to eat. But aside from that, I'm gonna teach you and show you how I create a flawless base. That's concealer, that's powder, um, setting everything, and contour. How to achieve just the flawless, 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 fresh, and beautiful skin. So let's begin. So I'm just gonna eat first and spread the egg. Yo. Yummy. First up, we're gonna hydrate our face a bit. I'm using MAC Fix Plus. I'm just gonna drench everything with that. First up, we're gonna prime our face using the Super FX Blurring Primer. So we're gonna use that to cover the pores, fill in the pores. We're just gonna... I already did my brows. I feel like it's a bit too dark, but after everything's laid on, it's gonna look perfect. Okay. Next, I'm gonna be trying on my new Huda Beauty um, foundation. And I think I'm in the shade Macchiato. Oh my gosh, go! So I'm just gonna take that and place it on my my There you go. It smells very lotion. Like I said earlier, it's Samyang and Pancit Canton. Tong? <laughs> Pancit Canton? When I tried it the first time, parang ang dami ng sauce. It was too spicy. So I thought, let me add some Pancit Canton noodles. And when I did that, oh, mas balanced yung flavor. Less spicy. But then, my hint ng Pancit Canton. I love it. Okay, so this is the foundation side. This is the no foundation side. As you can see, it's a very full coverage foundation. It's the first time for me to try this because it's always been out of stock. And for some reason, I don't like buying online in Sephora. I always like to go there and just... Look at stuff, try on stuff. Okay, so naman yung bibili ako online and then mali yung shade and then... Am I right? I'm right. We're gonna conceal. Don't feel. Where is my concealer? I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna apply that. One on their eyes and then I'm taking a damp sponge and I'm gonna wet it again with a fix plus you're gonna ask me ge bakit mo naisipan mag mukbang mag makeup all at the same time because that's me it's me showing you who I am I like makeup, I like food, as you can tell. And to be honest with you, the videos that I watch on YouTube, it's either makeup or mukbang too. So why not combine them, you know? Okay. Now that that's all blended, you want to go through the entire face using your damp sponge. That way you can avoid cakiness all throughout the day. Next up, we're gonna set our face. I'm taking the... Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but you can use 
any powder you like. Then we're just gonna set. We're gonna set the areas where we placed concealer. Next up, we're gonna take a foundation brush and we're just going to powder the fizz. Actually, this is a bronzing powder by NARS. I'm gonna take that on the outer parts of my face. I don't like this, to be honest, I don't like this as a bronzer, but using it when my foundation's too light for my skin to adjust the um, color, I love it. It's so light that it looks natural. Yeah. So we're just going to place that on the outer area. You know me. Okay, next. We're going to take all the baggage away using this tapered brush right here. I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish. I can't say it like right. I don't know how to do it. Airbl Airbrush Flawless Finish. I'm in the shade Medium 2. <laughs> We're gonna work through the under eye. I love this powder even though it's expensive. I know it makes everything so flawless. Like, can you see my pores? Can you see my pores? You don't see my pores. Okay, next is bronzer. I'm gonna use what brush? My Morphe E4 to bronze up my face using the Patrick Star Give Me Life Bronzing Powder. I did a review on this on my previous video, so go check it out. So I'm gonna, I'm just going to bring back color to my face, color and dimension and summer realness. Don't forget your double chin if you have one. Unfortunately, I do. I have three chins. No doubt about this. So we're gonna take that up. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm gonna use this to contour my nose. As you can see, it's very um fresh. There's some color again. It's not just I am put there. I'm just gonna contour my nose very lightly though. I don't want any harsh contour lines. I'm just gonna make it look skinny. Okay, so I also contour the sides of my nostrils <laughs> to make it look skinnier. For me, that's my main focus. Make my nostrils look skinny as fuck. So I do that. And make it as pointy as possible. Next is blush. I don't know what to use. So guys, yung blush ko kinukuha pa ng jowa. So hintayin natin siya. But right now, I'm just gonna eat first. You see, like, add up my steak dito sa akin. Very good. Delicious. I'm gonna be taking the NYX High Def. The NYX High Definition Blush in the shade Double Dare. It's very orange, like my background. So, I think good choice. Let's see how that works. I'm just gonna tap that and apply it to your cheeks. So I like to go around my cheeks and then upward. 
around the cheeks and then upward for a very natural finish. And to achieve that very flawless and kalmang look, we're gonna add across the nose. Parang palang mestiza ganun. Another secret to a flawless airbrushed skin light finish. You're gonna take your sponge and you're gonna spray it again with some fix plus or water, damp it again with water mm -hmm. or anything like that. And then you want to take all the powders, the excess powders from your face and just dab it. This way, it won't only unite the colors together. It will also avoid the look of or the appearance of cakeness around your nose. Usually, I get powders stuck or clumped up all over the sides of my lips. So I want to use this to take that out. There you go! Pretty! Next is highlighter. I'm gonna take my Pixie Glowy Powder in London Luster. I do tapered brush and only using the tip. Mm -hmm. Place that mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. highest mm -hmm. point of my cheek. Mm -hmm. Cute. Mm -hmm. But always remember mm -hmm. that the more glittery mm -hmm. your highlighter mm -hmm. is, the more you can mm -hmm. see the texture around your skin. And again, I'm going to use a damp sponge and Let's see what the difference is. This way, it's going to look more natural. Yung mukhang pinawisan ka lang. I'm just going to use my finger actually to highlight my nose. I never, for some reason, I never highlight my cheeks and not highlight my nose. I feel like it just makes everything so much better. Also gonna take that on the inner corners of my eyes. With my kids bow. There you have it. Next up, I'm gonna spray my face with some setting powder. Ah, uh, setting powder. Setting spray. Now that that's all dry, I'm gonna go back and finish the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. And it's very beachy and very calmado and very what else. So I didn't throw on any lipstick yet since I'm not yet done eating. You know, talaga pag demure magbagal ko na. Mm -hmm. Can I have? Mm -hmm. steak lang. <laughs> steak? Salang. Steak. steak. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this very fun video. With my Samyang X Pancit Canton X Flawless Skin tutorial. Today I just realized that this is the most happy video I filmed because it contained food. I super, super, super duper enjoyed. Next time I'll lipstick na ho, I promise. I just have to finish my food first. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Some cheese sometimes and spam. Super clean.